Hi guys, it's TigerMM1 here, and today I'll be showing you how to create an awesome rare new account. If you're just starting AJ, this is a great idea for you. Also, I traded Dizzy Stars that I got a long time ago, and I'm still trying to build my outfit, so my profile picture for YouTube might change constantly until I find my dream outfit again, and my outfit in videos in the future will be different until I get a set outfit. So first you're going to press add account and you're going to start new. You can pick between a bunny, a monkey, or a wolf. I am going to pick a wolf. Then you can pick a random name. I am going to pick Velvet Sporty Bear. That's a cute name. And then you're going to create a guest jammer account. So we just created a guest account. I'm going to skip the tutorial, but you can be tutorialed how to do stuff with Peck. So always take this free gift right here. Do not become a member unless you do want to become a member. So here I am. I am a guest jammer. And I start off with 150 gems. But you go right over here to and press create a free account right in your settings icon where I pressed. This is so you can have buddies and send mammograms. Let me fill in this stuff real quick. Then you're going to create a username that is easy to find. Make sure it's not random numbers because that's going to be hard if people want to try to shop your den. So mine is going to be Phoenix, ooh, Phoenix Fox. Hmm. Phoenix Fox what? Because as you can see, people already took it. Phoenix Fox. Um. 54. Let's see if that has been taken. That hasn't. Now you're going to create a password. Now that we have our password, you're going to put in your email. I'm going to put this in real quick. Now... Now I'm guessing you have finally created your new Jammer account. So yeah, let's get started. So I had just created this account. I'm thinking you're gonna be rewarded 1,500 or 1,500 gems, meaning you're gonna have around 3,000 gems to start off with. You also get the daily spin, which the new May rewards are amazing. At the very end of May, you're gonna get this awesome personalized neon sign. Here it is. I, ooh, I, well, I get tons of gems now. Here it is, and I, I'm in love with it. Usually it would say Tiger MM1, but right now it says Phoenix Fox 54. So now that we have a lot more gems than expected, don't do anything at first. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to complete these two games. Roll and touch pool. Roll and touch pool are the easiest games to complete. And you sometimes get gems and sapphires to play them. If you complete these, you will be able to have enough money to afford a pet or a masterpiece token. I recommend you getting a masterpiece token or a pet. Because a pet you can trade for other pets or do color swaps. But you still have a pet because that's what every new jammer wants, kind of. Well, when I was a new jammer, I wanted a pet. Or if you're a person who likes art, or you just want to get straight up into that rare beta stage, ooh, if you just want to get up to that rare beta stage, I definitely encourage you to buy some MP tokens and then go to the art shop, which is located in Coral Canyons. The art shop is amazing, and people charge a lot for MP tokens when they're only 25 sapphires. So I'm going to complete roll and I'll be right back. So guys, I am finally back and I have finished all of the levels. Roll is probably one of the easiest games. I didn't really want to finish touch pool today. So if I really did want to grow Phoenix Box 54, I would. So now you can open these prizes. The first prize is always five sapphires. The second prize is always 10 sapphires. While this prize, the last prize is always 15. So right now I have 30 sapphires. I could play touch pool. Touch pool and roll are the easiest like I said. Another easy game is fast booties, puppy tail, and pest control. But now that I've finally done that, I actually want to go work on my outfit. In a social experiment that I did off camera, people actually didn't 
trade me because I look different from them and because I didn't look better, I'm guessing. But I don't know, when I first started Tiger MM1, because my old account, Tiger MM1, <laughs> my old account, McKenna Tiger One, got hacked, I only wore a cowboy hat because that's all I like to wear. Ooh, this is a cute tattered vest. I also wear this. So, um, and people wouldn't trade me, but I actually had extremely good items, but they just wouldn't trade me because of my outfit. And then finally I started wearing Sea Star glasses because, I mean, who can get wrong? Sea Star glasses are adorable. I'm also going to buy this cute dog collar as well as, I think, a cute little set of boots. I mean, these shin guards are adorable. I got 10,000 coins for doing stuff, by the way. Okay, that that's cute. Okay, so this is my outfit. It's it's good. It's decent. So I'm also going to change up my colors a bit so I look better. So I think this is pretty decent. Um, it looks adorable, actually. I don't actually want to adopt a pet. So I am going to go to the Sapphire shop with Phoenix Box 54, and I'm going to get... Um, an MP token, which I can trade for extremely good stuff. People say that MP tokens are worth, uh, like, an absurd amount of items. But there are only kind of 25 sapphires, but people still think they're an absurd amount of items, so I can get some good out-of-store items. So this is a business. Games are so underestimated, and I definitely think you should play games, get some MP tokens or pets, and trade them for out of store items. Then you can slowly get better and slowly but surely get extremely good items. I hope you like this video. Enjoy and buddy me on my main account. Bye!